Hi, welcome back. Today we've got another £200 worth of two, uh, 10p coins, not £200 coins. Uh, we are hunting for those alphabet 10ps, ideally some 2019 ones, because we've not completed the 2019 book before. Uh, we've got A, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, and M, N, O, P, R, T, U, V, and X. So still, last six to go. We did start another 2018 book. This is our third 2018 book. Uh, we've got A, we've got I, we've got M, we've got V, we've got X, and we've got Y. It'd be nice to fill one gap in this panel, and then we've got at least one coin in each of the panels. So, uh, coin gods, if you're listening, that's what we want to see. But uh, we'll take some territories, foreign coins, other uh, oddities and interesting coins as well. But let's get into these bags, see what we find. Okay then, whilst the uh, coin hunt is ongoing, I'm going to be replying to some questions and comments recently left on my videos. If you get a random love and like from me on a, on a comment that you've left, uh, but no responses, because it's going to my question bank for a 10p coin hunt. Um, uh, before we get into the questions though, a uh, very, very short notice, only because there's been a, a very um, a recent break in my diary that I've managed to uh, get down to the Royal Mint. I'm going tomorrow, which will be the 21st of January. So if you are about or haven't got the new uh, £1 strike your own, uh, then uh, feel free to drop by and say hi. Uh, I know Grace is going to be there at least, so <laughs> it's going to be good fun. Right. Adam Mansell says, I got my first definitive fishy 50p last week from a vending machine in Grimsby Town Railway Station. Well, uh, Grimsby Town is a, is a fishing town, isn't it? Is it not? I'm sure it is. Yeah, because uh, the mascot of the football club is uh, Harry the Haddock. Uh, I only know that because when I was younger, I was dragged to Grimsby to see friends of the family and we were dragged to see a Grimsby football team match. And that was the highlight, getting a big inflatable fish. Uh, so yes, I am so jealous of all of you that keep finding these um, new definitive salmon fish Piece, especially because the rumor mill with the mintage being half a million would be obscenely low um, I'm still not I'm still holding my breath waiting to see official Roman confirmation of that though because uh, um, things can change but uh, very well very very good find well done to you Ian Montgomery says if it hasn't got a cigar then it isn't Winston so this is in, in response to the uh, new Churchill two pound coin that's come out in the annual set and uh, we will see later this year probably um yes yeah, so I, I get the yeah, Winston Churchill you picture hit the older Winston Churchill rather than the younger Winston Churchill and I guess the cigar as well but uh, I don't think uh, <laughs> they're going to be highlighting um cigar smoking isn't there there's a German coin where there's a famous picture of I don't know if it's a chancellor or someone in German political history um, and in the original picture he's holding a cigarette but the cigarette has been airbrushed out so it is the phantom cigarette or the ghost cigarette uh, I'm fairly confident my friend uh, Mike from Euro Coin Hunt has uh, told me about that one so uh, yeah I can't imagine they're going to mint coins with people with cigars on it anyway in Montgomery says post dating definition to write a date on a document especially a check that is later than the date on which you're writing predate has the connotation of being predatory oh predate has a connotation of being predatory so this is all about right okay so at the end of the year some of the last coins that the, that the mint uh, produce are dated for the following year we see it mainly on five pound coins and ounce coins in the in, uh, previously but last year as we ticked over as we were about to take over to 2024 but we're still in 2023 the first dinosaur 50p was dated 2024 and there was the di there was a discussion about if you're releasing a coin now with next year's date is that predating it or is that post dating it not predate predate um in my mind it's post dating because i used to work in banking and if you were say you were writing a check for someone but you didn't want them to cash the check until after a certain date you would put a future date because checks aren't valid until uh, the date or after that date uh, within a certain time period so in my mind that was post dating whereas other people are saying well it's pre-dating because you're dating it before you get to it so anyway I, i'm sticking on post dating because that, that makes the most sense to me but as long as everyone knows what we mean uh, that is fine oh e for english breakfast very nice one of my favorite designs it's a 2018 one super stuff right ben cracker says i'd love them to do a series on the places like buckingham palace balmoral castle and other castles like it would be uh like it's where the royals live would be interesting i i totally agree with that i think there are plenty of wonderful castles like windsor castle balmoral um, 
even uh, is it, where, where is it that the the king's place is high high grove isn't it it's not a castle but it's, it's like a stately uh, manor um i think that would be uh, amazing especially with the with the rise of something like the salt burn uh, which i have watched yowza uh, <laughs> um that again th if they was to do stately homes that would be a great one or long leet uh there's all these great places that uh, you can have a lovely series of coins or just let's not have six coins released in one calendar year in a series i don't mind two a year for five years or something like that but uh yeah i think that that would be great if there was a salt burn coin uh, i know that there's a uh, the coins can't be turned around that quickly in Salburn isn't a real place but it's it's filmed in I think it's a not it's a is it in Norwich or that well, I can't remember off the top of my head but uh, if they were to release a coin with that on it you might grab the attention of some people outside of coin collecting um, that will want what they will call the Saltburn uh, commemorative coin so I am totally up for that uh, and I think that's a fantastic idea Right, Comdam says, someone's stolen your scissors. Yes, so uh, I normally do have the scissors. I've got a little, it's, it's in fact, it's a, oh, it's all attached with wires and stuff at the moment. It's a, a, it's a piece of prosperity in pepperoni's mug. I've got pens, sharpies, letter openers, and the calipers and some magnification things and all sorts of gubbins in there. That's normally where my scissors live, if not on the side. But uh, every now and again, I've had to grab them to do something around uh, the house where they go mostly open things uh, and then I go to record the video and I'm like ah oh, scissors are gone and it's like oh, I, I, just, I don't want to go on a hunt for them so rip into the bag so yes in a couple of them you I do just rip open the bag right Mikey Flack says hey Christopher I'm surprised that the amount of shield 50p coins that you hunt through during every single 50p coin hunt that you haven't come across any NIFC 50ps from 2009 10 11 16 18 21 and uh, 20, isn't an NIFC I don't think uh, but it's only the 2017 shield that ever turns up, mate. So, uh, in the past, I have found those NIFC dates. I have found uh, my fair share of 2009s, 2010s. I think I have, yeah. I, th I think I've found a few 2010s. And 2011s I've definitely found. 2016 I have found, but at that point it was very early on in my channel. I wasn't checking for key dates. Um, and I put it into the bank. Um, Yes, uh, some people noticed uh, my good friend and fellow CoinTuber Laughter uh, was watching the videos at the time and he spotted it and that was the turning point where I was like, right, I've got to obsessively check for these now. 2018 and 2021 I have not found, no, excuse me sneezing there, um, but the reason they don't turn up often is because they shouldn't be out in circulation. Uh, every now and again someone obviously has spent them or banked them or whatever. Um, or whether that's through not knowing that there is value to a coin collector or they just, um, I don't know, can't be bothered to try and sell them. So they've just spent them. Um, so that is the reason they don't turn up all that often. It is quite exciting when they do turn up because as I said, they shouldn't be in circulation. That's why they don't turn up. Trail for Buddy Moore says, Christopher, I have noticed that you keep saying that you you want to be the first to discover a new era coin. Maybe that's why you always check to see if King Charles is on the Memorial 50p. I do hope you get one so yeah it basically does boil down to that without wanting to say in a video i think that this is an error that might be out there you've got to, so i was thinking about um the brexit 50ps um the fact that they were minted ready for the brexit and then brexit was uh, couldn't have couldn't happen on that date and it was delayed so they were minted, melted down re-minted with the new date it was delayed they got melted down it was minted ready for the new date because they wanted uh, the Brexit coins come out in circulation or be available on the day of Brexit, 31st of January 2020. So in my mind, I was like, well, what if some of them didn't get melted down? What if some of them accidentally uh, managed to make their way out into into circulation? Or what if they've used the wrong die on uh, a batch or some of them? Um, so I was checking for the Brexit date, alternative dates before it all became a thing again i don't think i've actually seen one but um before it became a big thing about do check your brexit dates because you might find uh, the alternative dates um and it's a similar thing with the with the memorial 50p is the first time uh that we changed from having the porch to queen elizabeth ii to now king charles the third and i thought well i know that they, they obviously do their spot checks and they're looking for th they look for errors and things but they're so used to seeing a portrait of the Queen, if they picked up a coin and checked it, oh, there, there, that's Queen, that's fine. Um, maybe there's a chance that that could happen. I'm not saying that it is definitely a case. I'm not saying that they are out there, but I can't help but just have a, a, a glance and a look. Because um, in my mind, it's, it's, it's a potential time where this error may have been made. But anyway, yeah, but the only way you'll find an error that's never been found before is by looking for something that's never been found. So there we go. 
Right, Kevin Young says, Hi Christopher, with the odd sounding 2019 coins, is it just the Shield coins or are there any others uh, from that year the same? Um, so the one I found the vast majority, uh, basically if you clean coins together, they make a certain sound because the, there's a very specific composition of the metals in that coin. 2019, there seems to be a batch where I think it was more copper uh, when I did uh, zap a coin and see what the composition was. Um, and that maybe affects the sound of the coin. Um, so I've, the majority of them I found are 2019 shields. I did find a memorial 50p that sounded similar, and an old data ones. I can't remember what it is. I know I've got it in my in my jar of weird tinny sounding coins. But uh, they're the, 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 the I would say 99.99999% of the ones that I found have been 2019 shields. So uh, I have I am still keeping them. I don't know why, but just have to. Right, we're going to go for one more question from Pride of Torbay. It says, I've just released a pair of Benjamins back in the, into the wild, signed Paul Torquay. Uh, what chance anyone will see them? You never know. Uh, so the Benjamin Buddies are the most common circulating 50p, so I signed them Christopher Clex and put them back into circulation. And it's fascinating to see where they turn up. And in fact, um, a good friend and fellow coin tuber of mine, uh, Rich H. Hunts, uh, has recently come across... Uh, some of mine which is very very cool uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's interesting where they turn up a lot of them seem to turn up in south wales and a whole batch of them turned up on the isle of Wight. so just to track uh, sort of where coins end up going after being paid into the bank whereabouts in the country they get distributed to i think is kind of interesting um, but uh, it also it's a very very common coin uh, if you uh, are collecting coins and you find a Benjamin Bunny and the first one you find is one of mine or viewers or another coin tuber's signed Benjamin Bunny it's not the end of the world because you will find another Benjamin Bunny um, so I, that's why I don't think defacing Benjamin Bunny is the end of the world uh, but I'd encourage everyone to do it because I think it's great fun and how cool it would be if as a watcher of one of my videos or a watcher of someone else's videos um, not even being a, a, a person who makes videos just you can just be a viewer if you sign a Benjamin Bunny or I know some other common coin uh, I think you, I, I would definitely get a kick out of seeing someone else finding my signed coin so um, I'd highly recommend it to anyone it's great fun and you just got to keep watching all the videos to see if one turns up and generally when a name turns up that someone doesn't recognize i get a message saying christopher do you know who this person is it's like oh and sometimes i post it on my social media or uh, i'll know who it is so i think it's really really cool so i'd encourage anyone to do it anyway enough rambling let's get back to the coins well there we go what an amazing result this is gonna be one of the better 10p hunts for a while only the one alphabet but it is a new one for the book 2018 e for english breakfast um it's one of my favorite designs f for fish and chips is my favorite but uh and E is very, very good. Uh, we're going to Jersey as well. Uh, 2012, Isle of Man, St. German's Cathedral. Uh, I don't know what year that is, actually. 2003, apparently. Uh, Calpe House, one of these lovely Gibraltarian designs. That's 2018, so a fairly recent one. Actually, 2018 is quite a, bit of, quite a few years ago now, isn't it? What am I on about? Um, Guernsey, 1992. Very good vintage, if I say so myself. And then this one, I just like the colour. So obviously this is post mint damage. Someone has uh, died or so there's some ink that's leaked onto it. But I really liked it. Uh, purple is my colour though, so a bit of a, a bias there. So that will go in my oddities part of uh, little little uh, treasury wonders that uh, there's no value to it. But I just think it looks pretty, so I want to keep it. Um, but of course, the E being a new one for the book, we get to slot a coin in. So, uh, da -da -da -da, page one. A second find for that page so uh, we're on at least two each panel apart from this one so uh, any of those turning up would be fantastic but uh, it's, well, it's got to be an E star find hasn't it uh, it's, it's hard to pick a star find other than the alphabet MP when you do get them they are very hard to find though but uh, if you found one this week I would, would love to know what letter you found and where you found it uh, links as usual are in the description of this video to my coin collecting discord server if you want to come and join that there's also links to my social media channels uh, the PO box address if you want to write into me and of course a link to the Britannia coin company's YouTube channel the company I work for as my day job so please do check that out as well all it leaves me to do now though is thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins bye